Hello everybody. Thank you for joining us. We on the special broadcast with Africa Help show which is going to help you to discover so 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 much more. Uh, we are facing in this planet a big problem which we are having over the years. We got a serious disease which people are dying over the years. People lost their beloved one because of that disease which you call HIV and AIDS. I'm sure you are aware about it. So today we are very humble and honored to receive one of the greatest most doctors around the city here in South Africa, especially in Joburg, Dr. Vivi. I'd like to call her Vivi Nsiza, which is going to introduce herself and then we're going to carry on because she's one of the people who have discovered tablet medicine, not cure 100%, but uh, at least prevent this virus called HIV, which you and me, we cannot ignore how it's terminating, terminating people's life. Doctor, welcome to the show. Africa help. Thank you. I'm sure Africa need really help. Uh, we got a problem which is been seen and heard and people can testify that we got a disease called by HIV. Can you tell us about how do you know about it? Joshua, to be honest with you, I think knowing about it, uh, I found out the same way you did, um, which was when media just dropped it in our ears and um, people started getting sick and dying and we were automatically told there's no cure. Yeah. And um, it was the most scariest disease that anybody would dream of having. So it was them that told us about it. So that's how we found out about the disease. As a doctor, I'm sure to the background you've been graduated having a degree to your research. Can you tell us first a little bit about yourself, the studies you have made and so on? Well, um, as I've said in my previous interview of Africa Help, um, I'm a traditional healer with a background of a hu uh, many institute, institutes that actually backed me up in my training and um, to an extent that I was even honored with a professorship from the university, backed by the University of KwaZulu-Natal under the tuition of the Good Shepherd Cultural Training College here in South Africa. And um, being a traditional healer, I was more exposed to patients that came to see us uh, in terms of infertility issues because that is our speciality and only to find that half of them were also tested HIV positive. And uh, when we started this research with my mother, it was back in the early 90s, and um, she, I recall her saying to me, we can cure people with infertility issues. What about this disease? If we can make a woman fall pregnant mm -hmm. when she's barren, what would be stopping us from curing this immaculate disease? Mm -hmm. So that's where we actually started. To your case, as you started the research, how many cases have you encountered since your research? Because it was not a widely um, done research, um, I've got a couple of clients that have come through, even though I wouldn't really mention the correct number, but we've had a couple of clients that came forward in times when we were doing our personal research and personal trials. Um, patients who came here with, you know, CD4 counts of 4, CD4 counts of 5, CD4 counts of 20, really, really, really weak um, patients. Uh, in the medical term, they would be called full-blown AIDS cases. And fortunately, we have managed with this very same traditional medicine that we have found to actually restore their health and rejuvenate their immune system. And as we speak, the people are healthy and strong and they are back to their normal lives. Doctor, can we say that HIV can be cured? Um, Joshua, with the research and the trials that I've done and the studies that I've done, I'm not quite sure if we can really cure the virus because understanding the virus itself to my knowledge, I know that even if patients would die of opportunistic diseases, 
once they die um, and once they are dead and their blood is being drawn we would find that the HIV virus still is active within their system so curing it I'm not quite sure if we can cure it but the way and the method that we have encountered as our clinic and, and as myself as a researcher was that we really do not think or feel that we should actually try anything to kill it because this virus is extremely intelligent once it penetrates the body that is why it wouldn't sit around carelessly anyway it needs to protect itself within the cell because we believe that this virus is very sensitive we believe that this virus is fragile so that is why it doesn't want to be exposed to the light. Mm -hmm. That is why it doesn't want to be in an area where the body's antigens will find it and destroy it. Mm -hmm. So it has to find a safe place to keep like a cell. Mm -hmm. Because once it is in the cell, you cannot penetrate it. Yeah. Because if you want to kill the virus, you must also kill the cell. Which is the dilemma, unfortunately, our scientists have been finding themselves circulating around it. Now, in this clinic and in my research, I am saying I do not think we should actually kill the virus. Okay. I think we should make use of the virus. We should manipulate the virus because it is already within the cell. Now, anything we are going to try and do immediately, it will attack the cell dramatically and also allow the body not to restore itself automatically because our human bodies are made in a way that only the genius God and creator knows how they are created. I mean, even our scientists, it's still a, a challenge for them to actually discover a human body and a human structure. So the virus is already in the system. Why don't we convert the thinking of the virus? Why don't we utilize the virus to empower the immune system and create a new cell? Doctor, I just want to go back a little bit because I'm going to go forward. Uh, some viewers, they may they know they heard about it but some of them they don't know how that hiv or virus operates how the person can be affected if you can just go backward explain how the virus affecting people how they contaminated virus well first of all um we all know now that uh, this virus you cannot uh, get it uh, through talking or sharing needles or well sharing needles I don't advise but totally in things like sharing utensils you you cannot get it sharing bathrooms you cannot get it but it is a virus that is transmitted through semen it needs to be transmitted through either semen or blood so it can be con contracted sexually it can also be contracted through blood transfusion or to a certain exposure of a wound that a person would have was in contact with infected blood. Um, it is also possible for mother to baby transmission. Now, um, we, we know at the moment and we are clear that this virus can actually be transmitted with very serious um, uh, uh, features like, as I said, semen or yeah. blood mm -hmm. through sex or other contamination such as blood transfusion or an open wound of somebody who's bleeding with the virus. Uh, thanks a lot, Mami. Uh, let's go now forward. Dr. Vivi Msinzwa, what do you discover to utilize so that at least African can notice that, okay, doctor discovered this and we can use this to contribute to fight against this virus? Well, we have made tremendous findings for the past 17 years now. Um, our findings are plain and simple, as I'm saying. It is a traditional natural medicine that is capable of rejuvenating the virus. I mean, the, the immune system, sorry, forgive me for that. It's rejuvenating the immune system, and it allows the cell to adapt easily with the virus. Um, let me put it in, 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 in simple terms. Yeah. We believe that this traditional medicine is capable of creating a friendship mm -hmm. between the virus and the cell. And once that is being created, 
it um, allows the body to become more stronger because now we are no longer living with a cell that is a cell on its own with other tissues no but it's a cell with a virus so um, remember when viruses and macrobiotics macrobiotics are natural stuffs medicines that comes from the ground the food that we eat that the combination when it comes with a virus and you know penetrating the cell we believe that it does change the thinking and the ability of the virus itself how it conducts itself within the cell um, unfortunately I wouldn't like to spill the whole beans from the bag yeah. but what we are focusing on we are no longer worried more about the HIV virus itself because okay. once a person has been infected mm -hmm. now the question is what do we do yeah. and now what we are saying is that there is an external window mm -hmm. that can be opened for the cell to actually change and um, be able to adapt the virus and allow the body to function much better than people who are I don't want to say this because it might sound terrible, but I'll be honest and blunt. I believe that this medication, once it's been consumed by patients, mm -hmm. they would live a much healthier life than those who are not positive because their bodies won't only be protected by the cell, it will also be protected by a virus. Doctor, but we scientists already discovered this kind of medicine, which is a, a undermining or put that virus to be slow and giving other people's long life. We've got people are living with HIV around the city. We are living together with them. Now doctor came with another story, another medicine telling us he's going to do the same job. What the difference between what you have discovered and what the scientists already have on the table? I believe what the scientists have, although I will not speak on their behalf, I'll speak on the behalf of my medicine. I believe that the treatment that is on the market at the moment, which is ARVs, mm -hmm. though I do not have much background about it, to be honest, um, I believe that their trying their aim is to try and eradicate the virus, to eliminate it, um, and also assist the body to restore itself and, you know, prolong itself. Um, I'm not against that, totally. Uh, get me clear. Yeah which I believe that this medication that they have doesn't have the ability at the moment to penetrate the virus itself and um, give the results that they expect from it. But I will speak about the medicine that I have because the medicine that I have, I know what it does and I know what the expectations are. Um, the medicine that we have can actually easily penetrate the virus through the cell because it's it's natural it's easy for the cell to absorb it and it's easy for the virus to actually come in contact with it because once it's absorbed by the cell then the medication easily can work and convert the thinking of the virus and um, the most important thing why we were asking in Africa help that people should come forward so that this medicine that we have found can actually be tested and trialed because what we have discovered is that patients will come here with the weakest and the lowest CD4 count um, and after the consuming, consuming of this medication gradually the body recovers and gradually the CD4 count increases and gradually the viral load drops but not only that we tend to see the patient's speedy recovery within the body and regaining their health much faster than patients who are actually just on treatment, on Western treatment. So I'm not saying that the two can't be brought together, no. Actually, I believe that once we have done our trials, uh, one of the part, part of uh, the trials that we'll be doing will be focusing on using the ARV and in the combination of this traditional medicine to discover what kind of results we might get. But I'm saying that this medicine on its own as well, it has proven to be wonderful because since we've started using this medication, we didn't have these effective ARVs that are now being produced, which I still can say. I cannot speak for the ARVs much, no, 
because I don't know them. And I would rather focus on traditional medicines that I know they work and they produce less or none side effects. Um, now, this traditional medicine has throughout the years that I've held on to it shown that it really works, that it's really effective and people can actually use it. And the nicest part I think that why we need to do these trials is to see what the DNA of the cell will be after this medicine has been consumed. And if this medicine, once a person has consumed it, can they reinfect other people from that? Because if it can contain and uh, convert the, 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 the virus thinking, then automatically it must be able to block any other infections from happening or spreading the infection to the next person. Hence, we need these trials to be done. We need these trials to be done on the medicine. We need the trials to be done with the patients who are already infected and affected and uh, see what the results will be. Because people, they do get better after using this medicine. Now, we need to understand how. Then I can be able to have the answers to all your questions. Wow. Thank you so much, Mama uh, Dr. Vivi Msinza. You are watching us, uh, Africa Help. You can still comment uh, any question you have. Mom is very available to answer your questions and your whatever you need to know. Numbers on the screen. Mommy, before we go forward and close our show, um, you say you're talking about trials. Have you already did it? Unfortunately, sir, not yet. Um, we, these trials are going to require money. We need, for us to be able to do these trials, we need an amount of about approximately 12 million. And um, in this 12 million, we will looking at doing trials for 18 months and um, having at least more than 120 patients in our final trial schedule. Though we haven't yet started anything because we are still seeking for funds and hoping that we could get private people and institutes that are willing to come forward to say, you know what, we want to give this a try. We want to see what is this medicine that you've got and um, how are people going to benefit from it. Because we truly believe that we have a medicine in our own backyard that can be used and cheaply accessible and that can produce the best results we as Africans require because we have these medicines. These medicines have been given to us by Mother Nature, not because they are here to decorate. They are here to heal our people and restore our people's lives. And as I say, Mother Nature is exhausted with all the deaths that we are already experiencing with this virus. But this virus, let it not be a, a huge burden for people. This is an eye-opener for us that it is time that our immune system needs to change. We need to have a new immune system that is able to adapt to any disease or virus and be able to fight and defend itself without any um, you know, harsh treatments that will be conducted. So I believe that we have found a medicine that is really required by the nation and the world to create for these new upcoming diseases that, and pandemics that we're still going to experience because of the air that we breathe, because of the food that we eat. Again, I'm saying because of the water that we drink. So our immune system needs to be able to cope with all these new things that are being given to us now. We need a new immune system. And having to take this virus and convert it into a new system, I think it might work. Wow, oh, yeah, I think it might work. Uh, before we go further and then we close our show, ma'am, um, I don't know what mommy is fighting really, Dr. Caesar. Why are you fighting? Maybe there is someone outside already got the tablet, but uh, he's helpless, doesn't know how to, to speak out. Is it because mommy wants to help Africa or helping those who cannot afford that tablet the scientists already put on the table? Then you want to assist them or what? So, again, I'm going to repeat. I will not speak on behalf of these tablets because I am an African who believes in my medicines and believe that Mother Nature has given us the ability to live. 
and as Africans we are so unique that our genes are being created different from other other nation, nations and the environment that we live in allows us to be able to adapt to these particular plants and medicinal plants um, I don't have any problem with their traditional with their Western medicine I do not I cannot comment for that matter about it but I can tell you what I think our medicine can do. If we can convert a woman who is barren to be able to conceive without an operation and a child is born healthy and normally, then we can still convert this virus and use it to our advantage because they are saying to us this virus kills, it destroys, it doesn't, um, it's not curable, fine. Let us harmonize the virus. Because anything that is already in our system, we can take advantage of it. So we have found something that can actually convert that easily. All we need to do is to run the trials to actually prove and confirm what my theory says to be in a practical form to say, yes, it's true. People can live with the HIV virus, which will be protecting their bodies and immune system and not affect and infect other people. And secondly, not die from these opportunistic diseases. The body must be able to defend itself against anything else. Let us talk about all these gases that we are inhaling. Our bodies can't take that. So why can't we use this virus as part and parcel of our immune system instead of trying to kill it? Let us harmonize it. Because trying to kill it, I think they are still looking for the resolution and they haven't found it yet. But for us, for the past 17 years, we have been using the virus to our advantage. Thank you so much, Mami. Your last word, your calling, your aim. People want to know about the project, the plan, how we are going to implement the tablets or the medicine. At the moment... We are still waiting to do the trials, Joshua. Um, nothing can really be said at the moment. All I can say to Africans is, we own a medicine that can help us. We own a medicine that our forefathers left for us. We own a medicine that our forefathers made sure that they leave it in our capable hands for this time when it comes. Because prophecies were told prior to this virus being exposed like this, even though they were never heeded or recorded. But information was already given to our people to know what was going to happen and medicines were placed in place. So all we can do now as Africans, let's turn our head a little bit and focus on what we have and use this particular medication to our advantage. It grows in Africa. Our people can access it easily. It will work out cheaper. Our lifestyles will change because our immune systems will be in a position to tolerate anything that comes our way because we are only complaining HIV now. We are saying HIV now. What about the more diseases that are still coming? How are we going to combat those if we can't deal with this one? Hence, I'm saying we need to create a new immune system, and that is our plan, and that is where we are going. And I believe that we might be the first one in the continent or in the world to speak of this nature. And we own the rights of saying we are willing to create a new immune system and that's what we want to do. Because people cannot survive with the present immune system that they have. It's weak and it cannot tolerate all these other factors that we are having at the moment. Thank you so much, Professor Dr. Antoko Valencia Valeri Msiza. Viewers, you have heard what Dr. wanted to tell us. Africa needs help. With your contribution, with your help, we are going to overcome this virus because you are sure and you know very well you've been lost, your beloved one. Are we going to carry on losing people which are surrounding us, having a gift which they're going to contribute to the development of our country, our continent? I don't think so. This is the calling from doctor. He needs you to come forward. Come, let's try that medicine who's going to assist and help Africa to go forward. Doctor, before we end, your last word. I personally know 
of one patient who has been on this treatment for more than 26 years now without taking ARVs. So that says something. We can do better. Let us stop killing ourselves. We are an African child. Our soil is black. That is why we are black. We need to remember where we come from and restore what our forefathers have left for us. I'm not saying people should be discouraged by using Western medicine, no. Please hear me outright. But I cannot comment about something I don't know. I can tell you about what I know. And what I know is that what we have will work and we need your support. Stand up, stand for your rights, for your children, for your future, for your generation. Don't look back, don't hide, and stop treating it as a stigma because that's what they want you to do so that you can hate each other, reject each other, illy treat each other when you need to support each other, love each other, protect each other, and be there for each other because this is our problem that has been dumped in our backyards. So let us use what we have to get rid of it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'd like to give a big thanks to Papa Jamari behind the camera and uh, Papa Isaac. It was Africa Help with your host, Joshua Bolowa. I'll see you next time. Thank you.